Hello fellow astronomers and welcome back to the planetarium. My name is Jonathan and today we are going to explore our very own solar system. To do this, I've shrunk down our sun as well as the distances between each planet. That way, we can walk the length of our solar system in the confines of this video. Starting with our sun, which has been shrunk down to the size of a basketball, we are going to walk to our first planet, Mercury, the smallest planet and also the closest planet to the sun. The total distance we're walking in our scale solar system is only 10 meters or 33 feet, which isn't that hard of a walk. However, the real distance between this planet and the sun is 58 million kilometers or 36 million miles. While that may seem like a lot, we still have eight separate planets left to visit today. From Mercury, we're going to move on to our next inner planet, Venus. Venus is almost twice the distance away from the Sun as Mercury is, taking us 18.8 meters or 61.5 feet away from our Sun. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system, making it one of the most inhospitable planets in the solar system. Before we move on to Earth, I want to stop and talk to you a minute about our scale solar system that we're using here today. Because the reality of it is that our solar system isn't exactly to scale right now. The distances between each object are, but the actual size of the planets are not. And that's because, well, the sun is just so much bigger than everything else. Just keep that in mind as we go in that the planets, the sizes of the planets, aren't actually to scale and only the distances between them are. All right, back to our walk. Earth, our home amongst the stars. To get to Earth from our basketball-sized sun, we've had to walk a total of 25.9 meters or 85 feet away. In reality, this distance is known by astronomers as an astronomical unit, and it's approximately 150 million kilometers or 93 million miles away from the sun. Astronomers use this unit to measure things like planetary distances without having to work with really big numbers. As you can imagine, 1 AU is much simpler than 150 million kilometers after all. Anyways, Earth is just a short pit stop on our celestial journey here today. So, on to our red planet. Mars is 39.5 meters or 129.6 feet away from our Sun. This is a real distance of 227.9 million kilometers or 141.6 million miles away. It's pretty interesting how all of the inner planets are about the same distance away from each other, each one being about 50 million kilometers apart from the next. From this point onwards, we're going to be accelerating the footage as we travel between planets. And that's because the distances are getting so long that it's going to take a while to walk to each planet. And since this is a video about the solar system and not the quality of trails in Northeast Michigan, it's better if we just skip over some of these parts. All right, back to our solar system. Jupiter. We have finally arrived in the outer solar system and at our first gas planet. Jupiter, the largest planet, has taken us a total of 135 meters or 442.8 feet away from our sun. This is almost half a billion miles, or 778 million kilometers. We're starting to get far away from the sun at this point, but we're still not even close to being done. This brings us to our next stop, and the planet with the most confirmed moons, as of the release of this video. Saturn. This ring gas giant is only slightly smaller than Jupiter but its distance from the sun is about twice as far at 1.4 billion kilometers or 890.4 million miles. To get to Saturn and our scale solar system, 
we've had to walk only 248.4 meters or 815 feet. The sun from this distance is kind of small, but we still have two more planets to visit before we're done here today. All right, moving on from Saturn, we're moving out to the very edges of our solar system, to Uranus and Neptune, the only planets in our solar system that we've only explored once in all of human history. The first of these two planets is Uranus, the infamous butt of everybody's planet jokes. In our small solar system, we've had to walk almost twice as far as we did just to get to Saturn. And that's brought us to 498.7 meters, or 1,636 feet. We're over a quarter of a mile away from our sun at this point. In the real solar system, Uranus is 2.9 billion kilometers, or 1.8 billion miles away from the sun. A lot of people know that Neptune is now the farthest planet from the sun, but some also like to think about a time when it wasn't, back when Pluto was still counted amongst our planets. But even during Pluto's time, there were moments in the two planets' orbits where Neptune would be further from the sun than Pluto was. And this is part of why little Pluto got demoted, is because its orbit is so weird. But that's a topic for another video that we'll have to explore another day. Our cold, lonely planet here goes by the name of Neptune, and it is the furthest planet from the sun in our solar system. To reach our final planet, we've had to walk a total of 780 meters, or 2,561 feet almost a full kilometer and really close to half a mile. For our actual solar system, Neptune is four and a half billion kilometers or 2.8 billion miles away from the sun. The sun from this distance is just a small speck of light that provides barely any warmth to this cold gaseous planet. In all of human history, we've only sent one space mission out to Neptune, and it was a short flyby mission by an unmanned spacecraft. This planet is ridiculously far away from Earth, and even further from our Sun. However, this is only our penultimate stop for today. We have one more destination to go to, and no, it's not Pluto. Instead, we're going to be setting off to our closest star, Proxima Centauri, or at least I'd like to say that we were. And that's because on this scale, where the sun is the size of a basketball, our next closest star isn't going to be down trail. It's not another half mile over. In fact, it's not even a whole city over. It's so far away that even an entire state over isn't enough distance to properly travel. And that's because the distance I'd have to travel to in our model solar system is, well, it's 7,199 kilometers or 4,473 miles away. That's about the same distance from here in Alpina to Rome, Italy, and even if I had the time and money to actually make that journey, I don't think that's the best idea under these current global circumstances. So instead of trying to catch a flight, let's head back and wrap things up for the day. Thank you all so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the content. As always, if you liked what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. That way you can see more of it in the future. And until next time, keep your eyes on the stars. Thank you. You are back at the sun. Yep. You want me to you want to do any poses or anything here?
this is it. Okay.